Hey everybody, it's Lindsay, and this is a haul. I wanted to show you a couple of things that I've picked up over the past few days from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So I will start off with TJ Maxx first because they are closed. Um, I went a couple of days last week, a couple of days before my girlfriend Rachel got married last Saturday and the, the third. And so I needed something to wear to her rehearsal dinner and uh, so yeah, I went to TJ Maxx just kind of looking around and I found some really cute things I wanted to show you. So I will show you the outfit. Well, okay, first of all, I'll show you. I got two pairs of shoes and I got two dresses. Um, first pair of shoes I got um, are these adorable flats. And I saw Michelle 1218, she showed a picture on Twitter of some flats that she picked up and I'm sure they were the same brand because I saw them there. Um, they were a little different than these, but I liked these. These are kind of, um, like a silvery color. So they're real neutral. They're not straight, like flat out silver, but they could go with black, they can go with brown. They're just really versatile. And they have these gorgeous, like crystal embellishments. Um, and they're comfortable, they're, they're, they have a lot of padding in them, which for me, I, I have to put inserts in almost every one of the shoes I own, but these are nice. I didn't have to put inserts in them. Um, they are Adrian, Vita Dini, Vita Dini, I'm probably saying that so wrong, I don't know what it is. These were $39, so not like dirt cheap at all, but for how beautiful they are and how nice they are, like I will wear these for work, I'll wear these out with skinny jeans, I mean these will be so cute, I love these. Um, so yeah, that was definitely worth it to me. So then I saw these shoes, and they're totally, like obviously not the kind of shoes that I can wear forever and ever, but they were so gorgeous, I could not walk away from them, and so I did my whole outfit around them. <sighs> These are Nine West shoes. They're like a patent leather nude. And this is a gorgeous bright coral. And I don't even think it's gonna show up on camera like how bright and beautiful this is. Oh, and they have a, like a zipper back enclosure and they are just so sexy and I love color blocking. It's so in right now. I love nude shoes. I'm so drawn to new sho nude shoes because I just think they're so sexy. They elongate your legs and I love this pop of color. And even though they're bright and coral, I feel like you can work it in with a lot, especially since color blocking is in. You can wear this with another bright color. You can wear it nude, you can wear it black, brown, denim, jeans. I mean, they're just oh, so sexy. So I had to get these and I want to say they were 35 or else 39, um, but not bad at all for nine West shoes. And they're pretty comfortable. I think I'll put inserts in them next time I want to wear them, but yeah, they're not bad. And then, so I wanted to get this up because I know I saw another girl at the wedding wearing shoes. They were almost the same as them. Um, I mean, a different style, but same colors from Nine West. So she might have found them at Marshalls or another TJ Maxx. So if that is something you like, run out and check because I just got them a week ago and they, they might still have them. Okay, so then I wanted to find something to wear to go with uh, those shoes. So then this is the dress I ended up getting. I am anywhere between a four and an eight. It just depends on what it is. And dresses especially are harder for me because I carry my weight in my thighs and my hips. So um, unless it's like an ampere wet waist or like an A-line dress um, that can like kind of, you know, it's cinched at the waist and then just flowy the rest of the dress, I have to kind of go bigger because otherwise it like spans across my thighs and that's not a good look. So this is uh, Grace dresses, I've never heard of this, but this was $29 and this is a size 10 because I tried on the eight and it was just like fit too good. So I got the, the 10 and you can see it's a shorter dress, it is sleeveless, zips up the side but it had it's like paneled and it's just black and it's a really nice stretch fabric but it's thick so it's not clingy you're not gonna see like love handles underwear lines um it's very forgiving fabric um and it's very structural i'll if you can see it you can see that there it's like there's seams here and in the back there's a seam down the back and it just I just thought it was like the perfect dress to wear with those shoes because they're like blocked and then the, for like a structural dress so it's pretty simple in black, but I feel like you can do a lot with this. And what I did is I paired it with a really chunky, bright purple necklace that I borrowed from my girlfriend, Hillary. She works at Banana Republic, so she's got all the cutest stuff and she tells me how to dress. So <laughs> so yeah, that was really, really cute. I love the way that outfit looked and I love those shoes and I can't wait to wear them even more. 
And then I also picked up this dress because I wasn't sure exactly which way I wanted to go, but I'm going to keep this one because I will wear this a lot in summer. Um, I mentioned before I, I'm, my career is in business, so this isn't like super sexy dress, but it's definitely something that I can wear for work, I can wear it to a wedding, I can do a lot with this. And this is like a really like more of a timeless piece. This one I got in a size 8. This is Calvin Klein, this is $50. And again, another strapless dress. Um, Shorter, it's kind of like that linen look, uh, but it's it's a cotton dress. And yeah, it was just really flattering one. And this would be cute paired, Hillary told me, with like a bright belt. So I thought it would be so cute with these shoes and then like a bright purple jewel tone belt, which would be really cute. And then it has these buttons on the shoulders. So I thought that was really cute and I feel like this is something I can definitely wear in the future. So that is what I picked up at TJ Maxx and then a couple days later I was going to HomeGoods and I found a bunch of cute stuff, a lot more stuff than I intended on getting but it was just, I was really happy with a lot of it. Um, if you saw my videos from a couple months ago, I was doing them in my kitchen. My kitchen has like chocolate brown walls and I have white cabinets. Um, and so all winter and fall our accent was red. Our placemats are red um, And then in the living room we have like a light beige colored wall with dark brown couches and then our uh, We also have like like our uh, Curtains and different accents are like a plummy deep purple. So for winter and fall I love that the red and the purple but now I'm kind of like over the red I want spring and fresh so I want to pull in like lime green, green apple, that just really fresh green. And I think it'll look so pretty with our accents. And that's why I love these brown, the chocolate brown walls we did, because we can do whatever color we want in there um, and just really change up the look. And it'll look really nice with the plummy purple too. So one of the first things I saw were these pillows and I got two of them. And these I got to go in the living room just to bring in that green and give it just a nice feel. And um, these are downfilled pillows. They're super, I love downfilled pillows. They're super soft. And two of these, and they're big, they're big pillows. Two of these were $25, which is crazy. That is so cheap for downfilled pillows that just feel this yummy. Like I just want to snuggle with it. It's so nice. So two of these, 25 bucks. And then we have shelves behind the couch on the wall. They're like the kind like the, the 3D, like just square shelves that come right out. And I needed something to put there and I wasn't quite sure. And then I saw this. Ah, this is perfect. This is so cute. This was $10. Um, I just love this silver. And we have a lot of different metals. Like all of our, like our um, hardware on the cabinets and our light fixtures and everything, it's oil rub bronze. And uh, we have like gold accents. We have silver. Like I just love mixing them. I just, I think it's a really nice look. Um, so this is the silver, it's kind of hammered looking, and then it has this green grass. And I'm not like huge into fake flowers, so I thought maybe in one of those shelves, like a really little vase with real tight flowers or something, but I saw this and thought this was perfect. This pulls in the green, it's really fresh, it doesn't like scream, ah, fake flowers, so love that. And then, so that's basically it. I also, I now I need green placemats, and I want like, I don't want them to be like bright, and I don't want them to be too dark, like green apple, grass green is like exactly what I want. So if you know of a chain kind of place that has those, let me know. I looked at Home Goods and they only kind of had round ones. I want rectangle and maybe like uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I know that's where we got our red ones, which are really nice. So then I got, I saw these on the clearance, the clearance section, which is great. This is Tasteology and this is like a tasting set for when you have like a tasting party, which I think is so fun. Um, and this is a set of three milk jugs and I didn't and these were five dollars for three of these and I didn't get them for milk Like what am I gonna do with three little milk jugs? I got them. This is what they look like. I got them for dressing. I thought this would be so cute because our all of our Plates and serveware are white. They're square white plates and everything So I thought these would be really cute for dressing when we have dinner parties and things like that salad dressing um, Just a really nice way. You don't have to have a spoon in there. Just really I just really like those and for five bucks. Hello. I snagged them up um, yeah, but about tasting parties, I just think that would be so fun. I've seen like in Pier 1, they have all the little tasting sets, like all the little dishes, and you just like have one bite meals, but if any of you have done that, let me know, because it seems like the biggest pain in the butt, like so much work to make all these little tiny dishes and then clean all those dishes, so yeah, let me know if you've done one of those. 
and then I saw this, like I guess it's like a cake stand. Um, this was $15. It's really pretty, it has this really pretty scalloped edge. This is just a sticker that comes off. Um, and it's a pretty good size. So I right now have this in the center of our table. Uh, we put our salt and pepper grinders and um, our like napkin holder on it. And I just like it because then it's raised from the table and we have like a different kind of placemat under it. But I love these for serving little desserts on, serving little one bite appetizers. They're just really like a pretty way to display food. I love entertaining, so I love things like this. And then the last thing that I picked up are these champagne glasses because we never got around to buying our own champagne glasses yet. And I got two of these. They each have six champagne glasses in them and they have a lot of different um, cocktail glasses and they're nice. I mean, they have a lot of options. And so I thought these were really pretty because they're so tall. The flute is so, is so tall and they're beautiful. And so six of these was $15, which is so cheap. That's the cheapest I've ever seen champagne glasses. So normally I would have probably just gotten eight, but they came six and a thing and we do a lot of entertaining with eight people. So I figured might as well get two. And then if they break or if we have a larger party, we have enough champagne glasses for everybody. And these are just, I just love how, how tall these flutes are. So beautiful. So that's basically all that I got. This was my haul at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I just, yeah, as far, like I love Home Goods. I love the stuff they have. You can get a lot of stuff really reasonably. It's really unique stuff. As far as TJ Maxx, they have stepped up their game. And I know that they had like a whole new marketing campaign about, you know, how they're, they have a lot of higher end designer products. And they do. I mean, I saw Kate Spade purses, Michael Kors items. I mean, they really have high end things. And so I am not a big shopper. Like I really don't enjoy shopping that much. I have to go in small doses and I don't like rooting through racks of things so that's why honestly i stay away from places like tj maxx i kind of go to the same stores all the time and just like if i see it there then i'll find my size and try it on and that's whatever but like at tj maxx you know they only have certain things in certain sizes and you never know what you're going to get but like after this past experience i'm going to have to go there more because they have really nice things for really reasonable prices i mean it's not like dirt cheap prices but like considering that's a calvin klein dress for 50 dollars, i mean that's a great price um yeah, and so because normally I would just go and kind of look at the purses and look at the shoes, but like digging through racks, oh, just not my thing. But I'm gonna have to do that more often because they have a lot of cute stuff and they've just really stepped up their game. So this is my haul. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later, guys. See ya.